Good afternoon everybody. Today we're doing another video on making spoon lures. Uh, pretty much the same size spoons. I think I got some that are a bit smaller than the last one. And I got this one that's pretty cool. This one we're not even going to paint. We're just going to leave it as is. I'm also doing uh, the handles. We're going to use the handles sort of like a, a jigging spoon out there so i did these ones last night so these are all ready to go i gotta drill holes for the um the hook and the line tie but outside of that these ones are ready to go and we got some more we're going to do today uh drill the holes and whatnot and uh then we'll get get painting so what i got here is this is my dremel i'm using i have a uh, sanding uh blade um heavy duty so basically we're just cutting the uh basically we're just cutting the spoon off cut off wheel um cutting the handle from the main spoon about about there then we'll just cut the handle from the main part of the spoon about there rounded a bit make sure there's no sharp edges on it on either of them and you got yourself two lures uh like i said we're gonna do some painting and uh, we'll go from there so we got uh four silver spoons cut and we got two of these rainbowy looking spoons i gotta take all this stuff off this was paint but i'm gonna scrub that off now we're gonna drill some holes into these Okay, man. We, we did a little differently. I was I was grinding them at home, and uh, my little my little Dremel couldn't get through. Couldn't get through these. As you can see, whoop. as you can see right here. So I went to the store and I bought some some punches here, and uh, yeah, that goes right through. So we gotta just grind some of this off, and uh, then we'll be good to go home and paint. So I got this one. Uh, I gotta go home and cut the handles off those, but uh, let me go get a hammer and uh, we'll get going on these. Well, this is the hammer I found, so that's what we got. I will. Right there. Boom, there we go. It's still all right now. Do another one up here. About there would be pretty good. Boom. So now I got my two holes, one there and one there, obviously. So now we're gonna grind these bad boys up. And uh, we'll uh, get her going. Ooh, that's a little hot. All right, so as you can see, not bad. Uh, we're gonna take my little Dremel back home and get the, uh, hey, there, right there. It's not completely uh, cleared up, yeah, a little, there we go. So we'll we'll take my Dremel. I'll finish these up at home. But uh, yeah. So as you can see here, these ones uh, we're gonna do a bit of uh, not polishing, but grinding up a bit on the surface with the Dremel, which will give the primer and paint something to stick to. So we'll do that on these ones here. I got some more paints. This one I originally was just gonna do. Uh, just this uh, rainbowy purple goldish sheen that's on there, but I got some tape, some uh, 
lure tape. So I'll wash these to get all this gunk off. Then I think I might just put some of those taped over this and see how it goes. And then tonight, I'm gonna go home, cut up a bunch of these with the Dremel. I'll give me a whole bunch of spoons to work with and we'll go from there. And now for some grinding. There we go, so we got this one a bit scuffed up a little bit. Hopefully that helps the uh, paint attached to it. Gotta wash this one. Yeah, I think we'll probably just put some tapes. Got some cool lure making tape. Gonna put on parts of this one. And these three we're going to, uh, we're gonna spray paint. Just like we did last last ones last year. And uh, we'll go from there. So basically I got some of these holographic tapes um, specifically for fishing lures uh, that I'm going to use on some of these spoons instead of painting them. I'm just going to add stripes onto these lures and then cut off the excess. So it don't have to be exactly perfect. I mean the spoon's going to be wobbling through the water. But I got, uh, I got a whole bunch of these. I got blue, red, yellow, uh, silver, and I think there's green. So we're going to do some of these. Have to wait a bit. The, uh, the primer, or the sealer on my uh, lures that I had painted yesterday was still wet. So, give it another, another, uh, another day or so tomorrow. It's supposed to be better weather tomorrow, so I'll be able to go outside and finish polishing all these holes up. But after, after I get all these, I got uh, all these ones here that we gotta polish up. And then some of these are just gonna get tape. Some are gonna be painted. Then we're gonna put some tape on them. Some are gonna be different types of paint. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a whole bunch of different lures. So, a little bit more and uh, There we go. So open that hole up a bit more. And I was able to get the split ring on. So there we go, we got one of my uh, 26 new spoons. Like I said, this here is a, uh, there we go. This here was a uh, spoon, I bought at Walmart. 94 cents for a pack of four. It was a, thinner piece of metal as opposed to there's a three pack there that uh, the three pack was I don't know a buck 30 buck 40 or something like that buck 50 and that was actually a bit harder to drill uh, to punch holes through and um, smooth out so obviously a bit uh, thicker metal means that it's gonna cast a bit heavier cast a bit further out but uh, get some split rings, and get yourself some hook, hooks, and you got yourself some spoons here. Um, so this is one that I use tape on. I'm going to use tape on a few other of these. I'm going to paint a few more, and uh, we're going to go from there. All right, so I got a few spoons. Now I gotta do some grinding on the back here. The edges are pretty sharp from where I cut the uh, the handle of the spoon off. So we still got a bit to go, but it's uh, snowing right now, or else I'd be out there doing this. Um, but we uh, we got these ones here. This one I'm just putting a hook on and calling it a day. Um, this rainbow sheen of this spoon I think is is good enough. Uh, I think that's going to bring in some fish. So I just need to get the hook on. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be good to go with this one. 
Tally Gersh. Man, try this one. There we go. Might put a little bit of thread and super glue to hold hold the hold the uh, snap ring together there. Squeeze it together. Anyway, there's this one. And see, it took off a little bit of the uh, coating here when I was grinding it down. And a little bit up front, and there's a little, a little bit where uh, the um, the Dremel when I was drilling out zzz, right off, and on the back, but eh. So we got this rainbowy looking lure here with this little blue and silver one and we're going to cut out some of the tapes and tape these ones up and uh, we're going to go from there. So these are the ones that I did with tapes. Uh, cut out tape, got my, got these off of uh, Amazon. Got a bunch of different colors and basically you just cut them out stick them on spray spray some sealant over them and uh, that's what you get so see how that works and uh, we're going to go from there all right like subscribe share and see you on the next one